Get started on the right track. Keep it locked to The Drive with James Curtis on Hometown Christian Radio for the GTA. Listen every weekday morning on Joy Radio. Well, he's back for his monthly visit, Niall Motormouth Jenkins from Car Connection, joining us on The Drive this morning. How are you doing, Niall? Doing good. Are you doing good because you got that coffee in your hand right now? No. You're just generally doing good? Yeah. That's great. Yeah, you know, it, it is the month of Rocktober. I mean, October in the shop, we call it Rocktober. Not because we like heavy metal or anything like that. You know, heavy metal music. We're not into that. Worship music only. We call it Rocktober because there's a lot of vehicle maintenance that needs to happen. People have really neglected their automobiles. We tend to get into what should be a general routine maintenance repair on any particular vehicle. You can give me 9 out of 10 cars and I can tell you this. The oil change will not be the only problem with the car. But we talked a little bit about this last month anyways with regards yeah. to getting the car ready for winter. And so it's beyond just getting an oil change. It's getting the regular maintenance maintenance and stuff and and having somebody qualified look at the thing and make sure so you know okay you got brakes to look after you got some other stuff to look after you shouldn't be surprised because you're getting it ready for winter you don't want those things crapping out in the middle of a snowstorm bad idea yeah and that's what happens to our schedule is our schedule gets blown right off the calendar because how do you allot a correct amount of time for each vehicle that's coming in when we have no idea what it needs you know we're not Kardak the magnificent we don't have a magic wand and a crystal ball. Those are out for service. Been gone for 50 years. They're not back yet. <laughs> so we're flying on our own. So we've got to take a look at the vehicle, evaluate it while we're doing a service on it. And we're finding all kinds of problems. Well, yeah. quit, quit complaining, though, because, I mean, this is... This is <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> right. This is uh, at least somebody taking the initiative and getting the stuff True. looked after before winter hits anyways, right? Yes. So uh, I've got this question for you. I'm, I'm the type of guy who will save up for something. Thing. I don't like relying on my credit card. Good idea. I, I like saving up for stuff. They're a tool of the devil. Yeah. And, you know, I, I use it for points and, and whatnot, or I might use it to pay for something even if I already have the money in the bank because it's convenient. But with regards to cars specifically or vehicles in general, how much do you think I should set or we should set aside for car repairs and maintenance, whether it be yearly or monthly? Does it depend on the make of the car or the age of the car? Or is there a general consensus as far as what we should set aside? Well, here's what we don't know. What we don't know. We don't know if there's going to be a catastrophic failure that's going to cost two, three thousand dollars to fix it. Say like a piece of drive line, transmission, transaxle. If it's a four wheel drive or an all wheel drive, or sometimes it drives type vehicle, those expenses are big. But so we can't do anything else to try and prevent them other than preventative maintenance and multi-point vehicle inspections at specific intervals throughout the year. I always recommend three a year. Then you can budget easier because you're working alongside your service tech, almost like a financial planner, because your service tech is giving you the guidance to prevent to work along with you to try and prevent any catastrophic failures. So then your annual budget doesn't have to be like $1.10 bazillion. It can only be a few thousand dollars. So I, as our general rule of thumb, $2,400 to $3,000, and that's not including gas and oil and insurance, that's maintenance. Right. Tires, suspension, steering, brakes, fluids, filters, lights, all that basic stuff that is wear and tear. Yeah, the nice thing about having that money set aside or at least budgeting for it is that at least if something does happen, like, oh, surprise, you need it's new there. tires. Yeah, you've got the money and it's, it's not just the items you need for the car, but it's the labor to put those items on, whether it's yes. the tires or something to do with the muffler or whatever, right? Well, and that's it exactly. And people get caught off guard and, you know, Vehicles, uh, folks, they're not maintenance free. They're they're maintenance free when in your mindset, you're saying, I hope to God nothing happens to my car because I'm broke. We got Christmas coming and so expenses get deferred. But when that car is broken, trust me, for decades, I have had to endure some intense moments of fellowship between husbands and wives <laughs> in my 
in my waiting area and say, can we take this out into the shop? Are you going to kill him or yeah. just hurt him badly? That, I, I, I say that to say that's reality. Now you're back tomorrow morning to answer car questions on we Car are. Connection. 7 a.m. tomorrow morning, you'll be uh, taking calls and emails and text messages and whatnot. So uh, we'll be tuning in. You got it. Thanks, now for dropping by. It's always good to be with you. Thanks for having us. Broadcasting to over 9 million people in Ontario is no small undertaking. For nearly 20 years, Joy Radio has been used by God to transform lives and save souls. We need your help to continue our mission. Please support our advertisers and programmers. Find a list of our ministry partners at joyradio.ca slash support. Thanks for choosing Joy.